Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is going to be, I guess, my kind of review and, you know, thoughts on the Sephiroth City update. Um, I basically just want to talk about, you know, what some things that I liked with the update, and, you know, some things that I thought could have, you know, been worked on a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down there, like, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for the support recently, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I think the first thing that we should start out with is probably the story. Now, the story was really, really good. Um, you know, the whole kind of teaming up thing with Mabel and Jake and Lucas and Lucy, like, all of that was really, really good. And I actually, I was actually surprised that they joined us. Um, you know, I kind of had my suspicions whenever Lucas came up to me when he was apologizing, but never expected for them to, you know, kind of be on our team. So I guess they're kind of like our rivals now, if I guess that makes sense. Um, I would have thought that we would have we would have had a different rival, and I've actually been wondering if we would get a rival at all. Um, you know, since we haven't had one for the you know first two updates, uh, if you want to count the, I guess, uh, release as a content update. But yeah, the story was really good. I liked uh, Dr. Vanta. Dr. Vanta was a really interesting character. Um, his whole design was sick. You know, the, the whole kind of, oh, I want money and I want to control the world thing. It might be a little cliche, but I still think it pulled it off well. Now, you know, it, all, this story is, you know, a lot better than, you know, the previous ones. Uh, you know, like Hiwa and I don't know. I guess if you want to, again, you want to count Midas, then... Uh, do that, but yeah, I'm really curious to see where Dr. Vanta will go after this update Um, is he gonna, you know, will we see him again? Is he gonna go to the fourth battle theater? Will he be in the UMV area? Who knows? So, yeah, now my next thing is Lumians now all of the Lumian designs I think in this update were like Extraordinary like I don't think that there was one bad Lumian design honestly like not even the roaches. Not even the roaches were bad. The roaches were actually really clever, and I liked I liked them. Garbantis was pretty cool. Uh, each of them were very clever, and you know the addition of the mounts being added made this even better because you know you can literally ride on some of them. You can ride on Dyborg, You can ride on Tyrex. And you can ride on I think uh, Gardrone. All three are really really cool Lumians, and I'm glad that they added that. You know they didn't have to add the roaming feature. But, you know, just them adding it made it 20 times better. Now, the, uh, the gleams and stuff, and the gammas, all of that was really, really good. Um, I mean, you know, some of my favorites uh, being Chompactor, and Hunter, and, um, what is it, Protagon. All three of those are really good gleams. And, yeah, speaking of Protagon, Protagon was not bad. I mean... I like the whole design of it, and, you know, it reminded me a lot of, uh, Mecha Mewtwo, if you guys remember from the old anime, um, but, you know, something that I do dislike about it is the walking animation, like, I can, you know, it's obviously a robot, right, and, you know, it's not gonna be perfect whenever it walks, but when you kind of look at it, right, and, it, and you know, the walking cycle, in my opinion, it looks like a grandpa, I'm gonna say that, it kind of looks like like a grandpa because it's like leaning over and walking like that. I mean, I don't know. It's a robot and you'd expect the, you would expect the robot to be top heavy. So if it's walking while leaning forward, you would expect it to fall over. But hey, I mean, it was still pretty good. Now the gym puzzles, um, or I guess the gym uh, in general was really good. Um, you know, it just the puzzles in general had me kind of stumped for a while. I like the whole Chomp Actor thing where you could switch between Chomp Actor and yourself that was really cool, um, you know, the first, I guess the first puzzle, uh, you know, kind of, kind of was like, oh, this is really easy, I can do all this by myself, and then, as soon as that second puzzle hit, you're instantly like, oh, wait, th this is actually hard, and if you guys watched my stream, you would have known that I was stuck for a good, solid, like, 10 minutes on some of them, and it was pretty good, and, you know, like the battle star, Faust, Faust was also really, really good. I'm so, so happy that they didn't, you know, do the same thing that they did with the previous updates and just give them like level one, po or not level one Pokemon, but like stage one Pokemon that are like level five and, you know, only know like three moves and stuff. 
and then you know you have a level 40 lumen you could sweep through them i'm glad that they didn't do that they kind of added a little bit of a challenge you know being level 30 lumians i'm really excited uh for the fourth battle theater i hope that the level cap kind of goes up i want it to go up to at least 40 that i think that'd be really cool um but yeah now, as far as replayability goes, it's just like any other update, in my opinion. Um, you complete it, you go back, you do some possible quests, uh, you go and you gleam hunt, you gamma hunt, and you do your mastery. But, you know, this one had a couple of new stuff. Um, the map is obviously way, way bigger, I think, than, um, you know, stuff like Sylvan, or, well, obviously Sylvan, but, like, maybe Hiwa, honestly? I don't know, I don't know if it's bigger than Hiwa, but it's definitely a large, large city, um, and you know, I think that's, again, replayability, it's decent, it's like any other updates. Um, the quests, the quests were, I guess, okay. Um, the only ones that I could really think of would be the sushi one, um, the one, uh, about the, I guess, the old man, uh, and then he gives you, like, the evil light slash everstone thing. And then I think that there was one more, and I'm probably forgetting it. Um, if I am, let me know down in the comments below, but yeah. I think it was pretty good. Um, again, I really liked the Everstone feature. I've been waiting for that for a long time. Now I don't have to keep pressing the cancel button. And let me know if you guys want a video about that because I forgot to make one. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going into some of the cons of this update. Now, there wasn't that much wrong with this update. It was a pretty, pretty good update. Um, but there was, you know, a couple things that kind of, kind of threw me off. Um... The first one, I guess, being Route 8. I think a lot of us thought that they were going to release Route 8 uh, with the thing. Um, they even showed it inside of the, you know, teasers and stuff. So I'm kind of bummed out that we didn't get it. Um, I'm also kind of a little bummed out that we didn't get more Lumians. I'm not going to be too picky about that, though, because uh, 15 is a lot, and they, they are adding more next week. Uh, in the next week or two, Lando said. So I think that's fine right there. Um, but here's the thing, okay? The last thing, you know, okay, they could have given us, right? They could have given us the entire game. And I don't think, I don't think really any update is, I guess, like 100% worth the update or worth the wait time. Now, don't get me wrong, like, I'm definitely glad that it came out and it was definitely really, really good. But like a lot, like me and a lot of other content creators say, like, it's a good update, but the wait time, no update is really worth that wait time. And I don't want to go back and complaining about that because that's not what this video is. It's to more look at, you know, the pros and stuff. But, you know, that was just, you know, one thing that me and a couple of other people kind of, you know, were off a little bit about. Um, we're kind of threw us off. But, yeah, as far as the cons go, that's about it. Um, honestly, putting this into, like, a, a, a percentage... What do I rate this update? I'm gonna put this at a fat, like, 90 to 95 percent. Really good update. I want to see more of this, uh, from the Llama Train Studio group. I really liked all the cutscenes, everything. Uh, story, Lumion, Legendaries, Gems, everything. Really, really good, and I hope they do more of this in the future. So yeah, if you guys do like these types of videos, let me know down in the comments below. And make sure you go down there, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.